All too often, users of a large battery pack uh, will forget to disconnect the load before working on their battery management system and blow up the BMS. And they ask us why that is. The reason is that if you do not disconnect the load from a battery pack and that uh, you're working on it and disconnect the con serious connection between two adjacent cells, the entire battery voltage appears across that gap. So you may be removing one link and all at once the full 100 volts, 200 volts appears across that link. And why is that? The easiest way to explain it is to use a simple circuit right here to demonstrate it. And I have two 9 volt batteries that are connected in series to a switch, two 9 volt batteries connected in series through a switch, and the overall battery pack produces 18 volts, which lights up a light bulb. And so we'll have 9 volts across each battery, 9 volts here, 9 volts here, and overall there are 18 volts across the entire battery pack, which lights up the load at 18 volts. Of course, there is no voltage across the switch because it's closed. When I turn off the switch, the entire voltage, which is no longer across the light bulb, because otherwise the light bulb would be on, now the voltage appears across the switch, across the opening. And also notice that it's reversed in polarity. So as soon as I open that switch, because the load has low resistance, it brings together the voltage at the positive end and the negative end of the battery pack and therefore the entire 18 volts which no longer appears here now appears here across the gap and if there were a battery management system across the gap it would be blown so we see that there's zero volts across the light bulb minus 18 volts across the switch the safe thing to do is to remove the load when I do so Again, there's no voltage across the load, but this time there's no longer voltage across the gap. In fact, I see no voltage anywhere except for right across each individual battery. Why is that? Because now there's no continuous path anywhere for a, the entire 18 volts to develop and therefore cause damage. That's why whenever you're working on a battery management system, you have to remove the load. All too often people will say, well, the load is removed, and then when you look very carefully, you find out the charger is still connected. And a charger has a capacitor across its output. So if we emulate a charger with a capacitor, which with the power off is discharged, and therefore there's zero volts across it, again, we'll see the entire pack voltage reversed across the switch. So... You don't only, not only have to disconnect the load, but you have to also disconnect the charger across the battery to make sure that there's no voltage across any gap and therefore that it's safe to operate on the battery management system.